Hi peeps, we're going to continue our tarot talk today on the Three of Swords. I'm not really sure why, but I felt really, really drawn to to do this video on the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Um, I want to talk a little bit and share a little bit about how we can read with cards, you know, stepping into, yes, basic card meanings for certain cards in the tarot. And then when they marry to other cards, what happens? What What's the, like, beautiful, um, you know, transmutation that occurs when you combine the energy of two cards and two card meanings and when you see them show up in a reading? So today I'm going to do that with the Three of Swords. This is, this image is from the, you guys are going to laugh because I have to do this every time, Journey into the Hidden Realm Tarot. And um, the card image for the Eight of Cups is the Eight of Grails. And I've chosen this very specifically because I'm going to be talking about Ian Daniel's meanings um, for the Eight of Grails and how they've come to, like what they've come to mean for me as a reader over the years and how I can marry with the Three of Swords. So uh, last week we talked about the Three of Grails really being about, you know, healing from deep loss, from heartache, from, from wounding and pain that may be very old, and honoring the level of the pain and then moving forward. So Three of Swords holds this energy of loss, of heartbreak, and that it's a time to come to like an assimilation of that, a full understanding of that, and then an integration and assimilation of that wounding so that it becomes instead of a wound that debilitates us a strength that allows us to be more fully present in our experience when this marries with the eight of grails and i've done videos on eight of cups before i'm almost 100 percent sure on this channel so you can look back and find that if you feel like you need to um, we are talking about a spiritual journey and an ending so oftentimes when the three of swords and the eight of cups or the eight of grails show up together we are talking about a heartache or loss, a heartbreak that leads us into the spiritual journey, the spiritual leaving, a time spent alone at the Eight of Grails and need to go deeply within ourselves and to say no to anything that holds us back from full presence to our own spiritual experience. So this may signal that there is an ending of a relationship um, or memories resurfacing from a painful relationship that's ended in our past. It's a call to look at and distill the wisdom from that experience and allow it to positively affect our spiritual path and our spiritual journey at this time, helping us to make changes where we need to, which may involve walking away from something. Again, whether that's a relationship or a career or a physical location, it's time to look at the toxicity in our lives and make shifts where we need to so that we can step into a stronger space as individuals. And the dichotomy of that, to bring in the strength card, is that that strength is actually being vulnerable to our experiences, approaching things without a need to have a great deal of walls built up around us. And the Eight of Grails carries a solemnity to her, but she's also very much about the fact that there's going to be, there's a purpose to this journey, there's a purpose to this leaving, and there's a wisdom that you will be returning from this journey with. And it is essential now, though, to give this journey its time, its proper time, and to be fully present to the spiritual lesson within the journey. So we may feel when the Three of Swords marries with the Eight of Cups and shows up in a reading that it is a time for solitude, that we perhaps have to end a relationship or a career or a, play, a time spent in a certain place and we need to be fully open to the leaving and the experience of leaving and ending and what that allows us to release and to create in our life. It's also a call to go within, so that means focus and attention on our emotions, on our shadow, and on our spiritual journey. The Eight of Grails and the Three of Swords is a potent magic. It's not always easy. It's not simple but it is a necessary experience. And when we step out of that space, we come back to ourselves and to the people in our lives and to our experience without needing so many filters and able to offer true presence for ourselves and for others. So it is a spiritual journey that has the ultimate payoff. However, it does require release, perhaps an experience of loss and a letting go in order to get there. 
as always, I am sending you all much love and many blessings. I will see you in the next video.